everyone. We are here on the Dove red carpet with Sadie Robertson, who is hosting the show tonight. Are you excited? I'm so excited. A little bit nervous because this is new for me, but I'm really excited. Yeah, absolutely. Who's your favorite Christian artist? Oh, it's tough to say. I think I'm friends with uh, one too many to say that, but I do love Building 429. I love for King and Country. Um, there's a lot of them. Absolutely. So as a young woman who is in the public eye a lot, there's a lot of pressure, especially when you're a Christian. Um, do you ever feel the pressure to have to be perfect all the time? Well, the thing is, I realized this a long time ago that I can't be perfect. And so I think that the important thing about that is not trying to pretend to be perfect and admitting that, look, I struggle with this, this, and this, and I'll tell anyone what I struggle with because I think that it helps people whenever they see how real you are. So for all the young women that might be watching this right now, what advice do you have for them as they follow the Lord? My advice to every person anywhere is to live original. That's the title of my book, the name of my tour. And what it means is just being confident in the person that God created you to be and using your talents and abilities to benefit the world. What I realized is that like, if I was trying to be confident in who I am and my appearance and all these things, I would never be confident because there would always be someone out there better. But when I look at it as a godly view and I say, I'm not confident in myself, but I'm confident in what God can do through me. It changes the whole game. Amen. We find our worth in Christ and who Christ says we are. Tell me, do you have a favorite scripture right now? Yeah, my favorite scripture is Hebrews 10:35, saying, Do not lose the confident trust that you have in the Lord, for it will be richly rewarded, which is kind of what I just said before that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, it was so nice hanging out and talking to you. William, tell me about your nominations tonight. We were nominated for traditional gospel song of the year for Send the Rain, which is from our forthcoming project, uh, Sounds of Revival, which we're excited about. So the single came out ahead of the project, and the, the single was so well received it got nominated, and now the project's getting ready to come out. So we're excited about that, and I'm also presenting the final performance of tonight. Do you get nervous when you present? Um, I think there's always a, a little bit of element of nervousness, but right now we're fine. I'm, I'm calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. Absolutely. What inspires you to continue making Christian music? Uh, what God has done for us. Um, it, it, he is the inspiration to continue to, to do this message because we're called. Um, I, I, it, it becomes a very serious thing for me in that because we are called um, to spread this message, this gospel around the world until he comes again. And so I'm inspired to do it because not only has he changed my life, but this is our call. I've got it right sometimes, but sometimes I didn't know. Hey everyone, we are here with Colton Dixon and his fiance, and he already had a big win tonight for Rock Contemporary Album of the Year. Was that a surprise? Very much so. Yes, not uh, not a clue. It was very hard category, in my opinion, um, but I'm honored. Uh, I love all the other artists. I've, I've listened to all the other CDs. I love them. So yeah. it, it was a very weird thing to here that I won, so yeah. it's awesome. There's a lot of very talented people here, and you are one of them, so you definitely deserve it. So congratulations. Thank you very much. So we were just talking about how the Dove Awards is very glamorous, and that's good because we should celebrate everyone using their talents to spread the message of Jesus. That's worth celebrating. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we all have to pursue um, our beliefs with Christ on a one-on-one -on -one sort of thing. How do you do that? It's um, it's not always easy. Um, I thought that being out on the road on a Christian tour would just, that would be a given, and it's not. Not saying it's bad, it's just um, making time, um, carving out time. You walk off the bus and you see cornhole boards, or you see a ping pong table, and you go, man, where did the day go? <laughs> it's very easy. I'm a very easily distracted person, so I can get caught up doing that, and I really have to force myself sometimes to just sit down and read the Bible or watch like a pastor that I love. By the way, who's your favorite pastor? Gosh. Um, I love Judah Smith a lot just because I feel like he is genuinely crazy um, and I just, I like that. I don't know. I, I know she likes Judah a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Judah. I like Ray Jean Wilson, He's my favorite. Ray Jean's the bomb. He's a friend of ours. He's going to marry us. He is going to marry He is? That's awesome. When's the wedding date, by the way? January 8th. Who you know that hop on tracks and that like he done lost his mind? Who you know that love the with us, um, producer of the year. Can I call you that? Uh, <laughs> working on it. Right now, we're just rap hip hop album producers, so for Lecrae's Anomaly, so that's awesome. Is that a surprise win for you? Let's be honest. Well, I mean, it's Lecrae, so <laughs> I, fi I figured we were winning that, but then also being nominated for an album 
Hip Hop Album of the Year, Empire, and then also uh, Hip Hop Song of the Year, Who You Know. So it's been a great year. I'm super yeah, excited. And 2015's been a big year. And so you both are going to perform together tonight. What, are, what can we expect from that performance? Nicole? Electricity. Ooh. I mean, of course, because he has a great song. Great message, and I'm honored to be a part of it. So, yeah. Has it been a couple years since you've been to the Dev Awards? Yes, okay, I've been AWOL for a couple of years, yes, but prior to, I've been here for decades. But yes, it's been good though. Absolutely. It has been. What inspires you to continue making Christian music? You know what, for me, growing up in a household that, that needed a lot of hope, like I just, I'm inspired by making music for people that are hurting, that are broken, and I know that, that, that the gospel is our salvation. Like it's through that that we become saved and we're free and our chains are broke through our Redeemer, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Pray now, right here in okay, Karen, the tell me about your album, Pray Now. Well, it, um, it just came out this past April and uh, it's nominated for, for the album of the year. And then the song, Pray Now, is nominated for song of the year. Wow, so those are two big nominations. I'm sure that's very humbling and excited. And we, uh, we're so thrilled. This time last year, actually, I um, had the privilege of co-writing this song with Dave Clark and Michael Farron. And uh, we, we knew when we wrote it that it, it, it was anointed and we knew that it was something special. And But when we recorded the song in January, we had no idea that just days later that um, our lives would change. My husband was diagnosed with cancer, and but he's you know doing so much better now, and he's he's cancer free. But this has been our year of prayer. So God has really done such a work in our lives and just shown us His mercy and grace like never before. Amen. That's wonderful. It seems like when we start working on a project and we think it's for someone else, in turn, it's also for us, and it's amazing how God is able to do that. Is there a scripture that you've been leaning on through all of this? Oh, absolutely. Second Timothy chapter one, where it says, God does not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And we just said, God, whatever you choose, we have faith believing in his healing, but whatever you choose, just find us faithful when it's all said and done. And that's, that's really, I guess, um, I've been traveling for 35 years. And so, you know, and, and it's so wonderful to see young people like you that has such a love of the Lord on her face and in her countenance and, and just in your actions. And it's so wonderful. That's what I love about the Devil Wars. This never gets old to me because it's fun to watch the, uh, the up-and-coming young artists and and, uh, and see them proclaim the name of Jesus because he's the answer. Amen, he is. To everything in our lives, he's the answer. 